Hello everyone and welcome back to Dementia Activities. Today I'm going to share with you a game that I do at the home. Just a simple word game that you can kind of do it anywhere and just quiz your loved one and it will keep their brain active. I call it the gender game just to give it a name. If you can think of a better name by all means but I just call it the gender game. Now I've got a list of the male and female version of things so you will see there's husband and wife man and woman him and her duke and duchess cockerel and hen lion and lioness involve humans and and animals and i will just say to the the lady and gents what's the female version of husband of course they would say wife what's the male version of queen king what's the female version of fox vixen you get the idea and you know i just put them on the spot i might ask them individually i might ask them as a group it's also a good thing to do if maybe you're playing some sort of a ball game i'll link down below the video i've done on throwing and catching a ball um, this is an ideal thing, you know, you can throw the ball to somebody and ask them what's the female version of a hero, for instance. They can catch it, they'll say heroine. Like I said in that video, it just gives them something else to think about while they're throwing a catch in a ball. This is just a really good game to sort of pair with that. Or you can just play it on your own, like I said, quick fire questions. When you're on a journey somewhere, um, or you're just sitting with a cup of tea, and you want to keep your loved one's mind as active as possible. Um, obviously, in the early stages of dementia, things like this probably aren't going to interest them. It's a little bit too childish, and they don't need that sort of thing. You know, they get stimulated by by other things. But they're still living their everyday lives that they've been used to live in. But once the dementia starts to progress, you don't want them just sitting there all day watching the television or or what have you because when you do get to the middle to late stages of dementia it it does become really difficult to stimulate them you know maybe there's a lot of things that they can't do by themselves anymore um so this is just just a quick way and there's going to be several videos coming up like this where it is just quick questions that you can ask them and you can mix and match these these questions these games that i'm coming up with be easily mixed and matched and that is exactly what i do at the home um i will list this list down below and you'll be able to kind of see them all but it's it's so easy to kind of google just with a little bit of research it, it took me all of sort of 10 minutes to go through and pick out the ones that i thought that they would know and that they would understand um and it is just you know king and queen cow and ball stallion and mare actor and actress so you get the idea it's simple they're probably going to know these things um, and if they don't it doesn't matter because who cares it's just a silly game and and it's just meant to be a bit of fun it's not about putting them on the spot and making them feel bad or anything like that so and like i always say you will know your loved one you will know what they will know so just Give it a go, enjoy, have fun, and I will see you next time, guys.